Well, we should have our two files on our computer, VMware Player and the DVD ISO of Server 2008. So we'll go ahead and start the VMware Player setup. And it's a pretty easy setup. We'll just kind of next, next, next right through it. Go ahead and let it restart the computer. And when we get back into Windows, we can go ahead and start up our VMware player. And we'll check for some updates and components. Accept the license agreement. And then click File. And Player Preferences and download all components now. And this will update a bunch of things, uh, mostly the VMware tools. That way it'll be ready to go once we're starting our install. We won't have to wait for it to install VMware tools afterwards or install it into VMware Player. So now we've got our updates, so we want to go ahead and create a new virtual machine. Click I will install the operating system later. Choose server 2008, not the 64-bit versions because we're this we're using the 32-bit version for this. It's a little bit more compatible. Give it a server name that you'll be able to remember. I usually go one single file. It's up to you for your preference. And it should have the virtual machine all set up and ready to install Windows. So we'll go ahead and edit the virtual machine settings. And we'll remove the floppy disk drive because we don't really need it and it just wastes resources. And go ahead and edit the CD DVD drive. And we'll change it to use the ISO image file and we'll point it to the ISO file that we downloaded. So that file for Windows Server 2008. So now it's going to automatically boot to that disk. Let's go ahead and click OK. And go ahead and play the virtual machine and it'll boot to the Windows Server 2008 disk. And we'll get to start the install. So now what you have here is essentially an encapsulated computer. It's a computer running inside of your computer. So right now it's starting the install off of the CD-ROM drive, which is that ISO file. And we'll go ahead and click Next here. And then we'll click the Install Now button. I usually choose Data Center because then you get all the features of Server 2008. Accept the license agreement. Choose the Custom Install. Go with the 40 gig drive that VMware assigned to us. whatever size that is on your computer. And now it's going to zip through the install because I've kind of uh, did a little time lapse here. So it'll go a lot slower on your computer most likely. It may even reboot a few times during this process. So you go ahead and just let it reboot, let it do whatever it needs to get the install done. Now after this last reboot, it's going to come up into an actual Windows dialog box. We'll actually be booting right into Windows. And it's going to ask us to change the password for the administrator account. 
So we'll go ahead and say okay. And we'll go ahead and put in a password. I put in a pretty simple password. You probably want a little bit stronger of a password. Just hit enter when you're ready. And it'll change the administrator password and log you into Windows. So then what you want to do is go ahead and install VMware Tools. So you click Virtual Machine and install VMware Tools. Click the Run Setup. It'll start the VMware Tools installation process. You really need VMware Tools because it'll make the mouse and the video and a lot of other things work a lot better. And it'll help the virtual machine. So we'll go ahead and hit the Complete button because I want to install everything. Generally I do that just because I've been burned a few times by that but, and had to go back in and reinstall some things that I was missing. So. When it gets done, the, like I'm saying, the virtual machine will run much better. It'll run more efficiently. It'll, it'll talk to your system better. Let's go ahead and finish and let it reboot. And after it's rebooted, we'll be back up into Windows. In order to log in, you may have to click virtual machine at the top and actually click send a control on delete because if you hit control and delete it might control and delete on your computer instead of in the virtual machine so once you're logged in with that password that you set up in the previous screen you'll be into windows server 2008 and you can start using it